Ashok here. What is Bayes' theorem? This is one of the frequently asked questions in machine learning interview. Uh, the reason being Bayes' theorem is a very popular theorem on which many machine learning algorithms are built, including your naive Bayes algorithm, which is a very popular text classification technique. To answer this, let's take a quick scenario of Mr. Bob. Mr. Bob was concerned that he has cancer and he went for a cancer test and the test came out to be positive which is a very sad thing and Bob got really sad and asked the doctor whether um, what's the accuracy of this test and the doctor said well it's 99 percent which is again a very sad thing because um, Bob assumed that he has 99 percent chance that you have a cancer which means it's almost he has a cancer but is it so maybe not if you look from Bayes theorem perspective let's say the overall possibility of anyone having a cancer in general is let's say 0.1 percent which basically means out of thousand you have one person having a cancer if this thousand members take take this test which also includes the, our Bob by the way is in actually is in the thousand because the test has 99 percent accuracy and one person misclassification which is an accuracy the test will come up and say one person is actually 10 10 people have cancer but that's not true because from our, an, our normal general statistics perspective right you have 0.1 chance of getting a cancer so out of thousand one should be cancer so out of this actually one have cancer and nine were mispredicted so nine not cancer so Bob can be anywhere in this class all right it could be in this one or it could be in this nine lot so if you look at it the chances that Bob has cancer right now is one out of ten which is approximately ten percent Wow that's a quite less number when compared to the previous one which is 99% which is actually not a correct number this is called as base zero all right if you want to put it in a uh, number perspective so formula perspective formula way the probability of having a cancer in general is 0.1% which is actually 0 0.001 this is called as class prior probability probability okay and the probability of a test predicting as positive given that the patient who is underlying is truly have a cancer is actually your accuracy of the test which is 0 0.99 99% and then you have a third term which is probability of test giving you positive result depends on two things because the test could be right where it's called as true positive when you do have a cancer so let's say out of this thousand people the probability of having a cancer in general is 0 0.001 which is PC multiplied with accuracy of the test is 0.99 and there's a chance that the test has falsely predicted that you have cancer or the Bob has a cancer and it's point uh, the rest of the members of this of course 0.999 is opposite of this multiplied by uh, the inaccurate uh, basically misprediction of the test which is opposite of this which is 0 0.101 sorry right and as per Bayes theorem, the probability of Mr. Bob having cancer, given that the test has given a positive result, is the probability of test giving a positive result, Bob actually having a cancer, which is called as likelihood, and this is called as this is called as likelihood. Okay, multiplied by class prior probability, which is your the probability of having a cancer in general by probability of test giving positive result which is actually 0 0.99 multiplied by 0 0.001 divided by this whole thing so which is 0 0.001 into 0 0.99 plus 0 0.999 into 0 0.01 if you do this math you get something like 0 0.0999 which is 9.9 .9, approximately 10 percent which is exactly same as what we calculated so this is Bayes theorem and and you can see how it works that the first as a, the first number 99 percent is actually not correct it's just that it's wrongly concluded so if you really want to have a correct posterior probability this term is called as posterior probability then Bayes theorem will help you get that 
this more clearer picture of the, um, the formula. So this is likelihood, which is nothing but the probability of test giving you pos uh, can uh, positive result given that person had cancer, which is likelihood. In our case, it's 99%. And this is class prior probability, which is in general what's like cancer. It's like 0.1%. And this is a predictor prior probability. Predictor in our case is actually test. So prior probability is we have calculated. It's a long, long word. A number saying true positive probability plus false positive probability. And if you combine all these things, you will get something we call it as posterior probability, which is what we are interested, which is actually what is the probability of Bob having a cancer given that the test, which is actually here, right, gives you positive result, given positive result. That's it. Hope this is this is this this explains what is based on you understood, hopefully. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.